welcome to the vlog and we are in Sydney <laughs> alrighty but here's the casino shall we go in there but why would we but I mean it's nice and then it smells nice okay let's go in there <laughs> just because it smells so nice okay because I'm here I might go to the nice toilets here. I mean, I don't really have to go, but <laughs> too much information. It just smells really nice in here and it's just, I don't know, I'm just vibing with the casino. Not so much for gambling, just because there's a really nice cafe that I used to go to all the time. And I mean, I just had tea, but I could have another tea, couldn't I? Alrighty, I ordered a pineapple green tea and I'm really just here because it's so pretty and it smells so nice. So if you're ever in Sydney and you want like the best scent you can ever imagine and really nice um, high quality tea that's actually not overpriced. Like I've had much more expensive tea that was not fancy at all. I think it's like seven dollars or something for the tea but I mean look how pretty it is. Totally worth it. And the carpet is so nice here. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna show you how nice the bathrooms are. See, and there's even seating. So one could actually sit here and think, do I really have to go? Which is uh, what I'm not sure about, so. Mm. Okay, yes. And now I'm walking towards my old apartment here in Piermont. And I have to say, this makes me more emotional than Potts Point this time. Because Piermont, this area, is where I moved to last time when I moved back from Melbourne to Sydney. <laughs> it's all very confusing. I've, yeah. You just would have to go back in my vlogs to see everything. Like moving from Melbourne back to Sydney, moving from Sydney back to Melbourne. It's, it's, it's all happening on my channel. But yeah, at the moment I live in Melbourne, just to clarify. But yes, I'm in Sydney just for the weekend, sort of. Dreaming of maybe one day living here again, but we don't know. We do not know. It feels like, this area feels like a really nice area to live in though. Even though I always hated that there's quite a bit of traffic. But what makes up for the traffic is crust pizza which is across the road from my building and I used to like pick up pizza at least once a week. And they still know me in there, I think, because I've been back last time when I was visiting Sydney and they recognized me. So I had too much pizza, I guess. Oh, and there's my old building. But as, as nice as the building was and also had a pool, um, didn't have a pool, it had a gym. As nice as it was, it has all those cell phone towers on top and that cannot be healthy. So that was bothering me while I was there, even though I didn't feel anything. So it wasn't like that I, that I felt crazy, but maybe it made me crazy. Maybe that's, that's the reason I've been crazy, but I've been crazy before. So yeah, but it's, it's probably not ideal. Anyway, I'm, I don't live there anymore, so it's not my problem anymore. Oh wow, so they are building a metro station here. I think that's the new metro. That would explain why the area is getting more and more expensive because this will make it much easier to come here by public transport because I used to have to take a bus that would run like every 20 minutes or something, especially late at night or on the weekends, from town hall to come here. There isn't really a good connection. But I guess it will still be a while until that's that's ready. But yeah, that is coming. So that's that's my Piermont update for you guys. And now we are walking towards Darling Harbour to check on the progress on the construction site where Harbourside Shopping Centre used to be. And I still remember in my in my old days 
around the year 2000, when I was here for the first time, I loved that shopping center. It was very touristy and sort of cool and modern then. Even though it was already, I think they built it in 1988, so it wasn't that modern. But to me, 20 year old me, I was like, oh wow, this is so cool. So I used to love that place and they just tore it down, I think they started tearing it down two years ago or something. We don't know what's there yet, but we're gonna find out now. It looks like they're gonna build apartments there. Maybe this would be the perfect place to live. Alrighty, mystery revealed. This is what's coming. And it does look very, very awesome. And I'm guessing it's gonna be insanely expensive. But I do like it. Approved, approved. And pretty much every single episode of my very early vlogs of my life back in Sydney start with me walking over this bridge because again there was no good connection to come from Piedmont to the city so I would always walk over this bridge so I'm walking down memory lane here Alrighty, so that was Piermont and Darling Harbour and now we're walking to the city Screaming kids Now we're walking to the city to Town Hall and Pitt Street area It's very pretty I feel like Sydney is trying to lure me back in again but I knew that was gonna happen so yeah, I think I will do a Sydney versus Melbourne comparison video on my travel channel soon because I have a lot to say. Reporting live from Queen Victoria building, Queen Me building. I'm getting a healthy bowl at fish bowl and a kombucha and it has a totals. Could this day get any better? And after this very, very healthy lunch, I'm gonna chill here in Hyde Park for a little bit because I've been walking all day and I'm actually quite exhausted. So I'm just gonna sit here and warm up. Being a tourist in Sydney is exhausting. There's so much to see and so much to do and... Oh. Nice and warm in the sun. conversations then <laughs> so what am I gonna do with my life and also why am I craving chocolate right now I just had a big salad I don't know <clears throat> so for the first part what am I gonna do with with my life so I think YouTube is gonna be a big a big part of it because it's going so well on this channel here I got 77 new subscribers in the last I think two or three weeks so I think you guys like to see me in Melbourne. So I do apologize that I'm in Sydney. Do I have something in my teeth? Okay, I just checked with the camera. I think my teeth are okay. Yeah, you guys want to see me in Melbourne. I do live in Melbourne. I think I'm gonna stay in Melbourne for a while longer because it's just, yeah, it, it is a good place to live. Of course, I do love Sydney. I mean, how could I not? I mean, look at it. It's beautiful and I just like nature here, like the beaches and it's so green. But then architecture and apartments, I think it's just because there aren't that many. 
apartments because there's so much green space in between and so much ocean space so there isn't enough room to build like lots of apartments i mean i don't know if that's the reason yeah so i think i'm gonna stay put in melbourne i'm also about my dating life i don't know i don't know right now it's still true that i don't need anyone i do miss country boy by the way the new country boy who lives two and a half hours away i told him um not at the moment and he completely understood yeah i'm not desperate to be with someone also because just my lifestyle is so i mean we don't know right where am i gonna live what am i gonna do i quite like being flexible and being independent so that's probably gonna stay like that and it works well for my youtube channel as well ah yeah so what i wanted to say you guys 77 new subscribers over the last like i think two weeks or something or maybe three weeks but that's crazy i, mean, I don't know if it is because just randomly that the algorithm is a little bit nicer to me now or that you appreciate the quality of my videos because i mean i do put a lot of effort into my editing and i do improve so i think definitely my vlogs now are better than like a year and a half ago hopefully hopefully i mean let me know if they aren't you seem to like the whole melbourne content and the dating stuff so i will give you more of what you like obviously because the goal is to get this baby monetized by christmas at the latest and i mean if we can do it much sooner that would be amazing but yeah so what it takes to be monetized um is 1000 subscribers i'm about to hit 600 now so yeah i'm getting there slowly slowly like a tortoise but yeah just in case that you're watching this video and you do enjoy it and you do like it please consider subscribing it costs nothing it's completely for free and it doesn't mean that you like have to watch my videos in the future but i mean if you like this one you might also like future ones and yeah subscribing is just a way to sort of yeah help me to get monetized at some stage and get actually get paid a little bit a few bucks for my videos and all the editing so yeah i would very much appreciate that but now i'm gonna read situ <laughs> and read about properties here in sydney and how expensive they are to confirm to myself that it's better that i live in melbourne Alrighty, the ibises are sneaking up on me hello there mate you want me to pet you I mean, I, I could touch him, but he's gross yeah. and he's a bit scary. But yeah, they're very friendly. Can you just think somewhere else now, Birdie? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, he's gonna stink somewhere else now. This is a beautiful magazine. I scored well. I'm reading about, reading about a very cool cafe in Melbourne. So yes, I mean, just reading about how cool Melbourne is while I'm sitting here in Sydney. Yes, I do love Melbourne. I'm gonna stay in Melbourne, I promise. I, I don't want to break my promise, so maybe I won't promise, but for now I'm gonna stay in Melbourne. <laughs> OMG, you guys, look at this. I mean, exactly what I need. So I'm gonna read this and then we will know. Finally, somebody's gonna tell me. So yeah, thanks for nothing, Situ magazine. I mean, I already know that I do not need to be, be living near school zone. I know that I need to live near public transport. I know that I need supermarkets in walking distance. I know that I want it to be affordable. Safety and crime rates, yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Like Australia is safe. And weather, yes, I know that I like it warm because I'm a tortoise and I'm cold-blooded. And employment opportunities, nah, I've got YouTube, I've got you guys, so <laughs> she'll be right, mate. So yeah, that didn't really help, unfortunately. Stay tuned. So pretty.
to the city street. Alrighty. For some very weird reason, I'm starving, even though I had a salad. But maybe my body's just not used to having something so healthy, and now it wants something real. There is a place called Peace Harmony, and I used to eat there quite a lot. It's an um, Asian Thai, Thai sort of place. So, sort of healthy ish. And yeah, let's have an early dinner. And I'm exhausted from all the walking around. I'm actually really tired. So, I think I will have dinner there and then slowly head back to my airport hotel. I was filming the vlog where I updated you guys that I'm moving to Melbourne and that I found an apartment. I was just walking over there at the other side of the street. So that brings back memories. And I was so excited about moving to Melbourne. So yes, I, I am still happy to live in Melbourne. I, <laughs> I'm sort of convincing myself because Sydney is awesome too. I just want want to be in both places at the same time. Let's see how I accomplish that. There is this artwork that I really love. It's so funny, I love it. I mean, what, what even is it? I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty, and on that note, let's finish that vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe if you haven't already and please give it a like to show the algorithm that you didn't hate this video too much. Alrighty, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!